Okay, continue on with the third video here for the assignment key. Which triangles are congruent by ASA? That's angle, then a side, then an angle. So we need to know that that angle, this side, and this angle are the same on two triangles. If we know that, then we know they're congruent. congruent. So here is an angle with two, a line with two ticks, and then, so I'm tracing from here to here, and then an angle with one line. Here's an angle with two, a line with two ticks, and an angle with one line. So we should be able to say that these two triangles are congruent. If I get rid of my scribbles all over the place here, then we should be able to pick the right one. That's triangle VTU and triangle HGF. Those are these two. If you chose none, it's quite possible that you'll still get that mark because there was an earlier version of this that had the wrong picture. I only fixed that late. So if you pick none, from an earlier picture before I noticed it and fixed it, uh, then you'll still get the mark for this. Remember with these things, angle, side, angle, side, 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 um, they have to be in that order, like angle, side, angle, it means to ha needs to have an angle and then a side and then an angle. If you were tracing that angle, then this side, then this angle, has to come in that order, otherwise it doesn't work. Here's two similar triangles. So if they're similar, we know that they're basically the same, just one is bigger, zoomed in, blown up. Determine the length of QR. So we're looking for that line there, which corresponds to this line here. Let's pick another line that we do know. So PQ goes between the two angles that are given, like this double angle there and this single one there, uh, and this double angle there and this single one there. So those are the two sides that we're going to say are uh, corresponding to each other. So if I look at the yellow on the little triangle, that's 14. On the big triangle, it's 15. That's the yellows. And for the greens, we've got uh, on the little triangle, 10. And on the big triangle, we don't know. So this is a proportion. We can solve it like any other proportion. 10 times 15 is 150, divide by 14 is 10.7. So 10 times 15 and then divide by 14 gets us 10.7. If you didn't notice which lines, if you picked the wrong ones that were uh, related to each other, take more time next time, go between, okay, double angle to single angle, double angle to single angle, that's the same. And from the single angle to something I don't know, single angle to something I don't know, that's the same. Make sure you're looking at landmarks in your in your triangle to see what to 